All right, then rising everyone, it's Shalonda or Shay Seek. Okay, Shay Seeking, and um, again, you know, we, we just got to go into it real quick, right? So, you know, th th there's been a whole energy of um, me just thinking Elohim, right? And I'm just giving it to you the way that I know how, right? And about, I was really reflecting on this whole divine masculine feminine aspect from within and out. And I was also thinking about like this energy here, that it, this sabotaging energy, right? Oh, I only got one earring on, okay, so we'll deal with it. The sabotaging um, energy, right, of the woman. No offense against any other group. We're just going to look at it for what it is. And so this whole thing about this Medusa kind of energy that I feel. Because, again, symbolically, I think that Medusa. Now, we're getting right back up in this. You look, look. I stepped away for a second. You know, I'm saying we ain't really been doing no videos on the actual Bible. But I'm just like, hold on. Some just hit me, and now some just hit me, and I'm like, okay, all right, source. I'm, I ask, <laughs> and you sell or receive, right? So again, I don't know. We'll see how this turns out because it's kind of random, all thrown together. We've got Bibles all open, three of them here. You know, we've got etymology open, and again, I decided just to come on camera and do it this way, even though I'm not even ready for the, my day actually, really. Um, and we got the the tarot. Hmm. So maybe source is a little bit agreeing with what we did yesterday when it comes to, you know, telling that story and actually, you know, looking a little bit deeper within ourselves, again, to each other, to the ancestors, guys. And, you know, yeah. So again, all the things that, because again, in this time, in these times, there's a whole bunch of, oh, don't worry about this. Oh, the books and everything. No, you see, this is what I'm saying. What I do, I'm, I'm sharing this with you in a way that we should all be able to tap. Somebody should be able to either tap. If you're a visual person, you should be able to tap in some kind of way. If you're good with words and etymology, you should be able to tap in and get something from it. If you're in the biblical text, you should be able to get something from it. If you haven't been introduced to things like the living Bible that we're going to actually deal with a little bit today, you should be able to. You see what I'm saying? There's something for everyone and we're using information that is provided that's at the fingertips of everybody except for that that is unique within you. That only you possess and only you can perform these particular things from, again, Elohim. So, or your creators, or if you think you created yourself. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? So again, we can't deny that there's something new going on on the earth in the world, with the soil, the spirits, and the energies, right? So again, there's a, a lot of, I was just thinking about like this whole blanket, why? Why does it feel like if I'm open and I'm here, you know, it, it, dirt is being thrown. When I'm covered, you know, it's still, you know, then, then I have to deal with. So even that, it was a quote that I uh, was looking at, uh, something about like how battling, like the world or battling yourself, right? So it's like, it's, you know, <laughs> I don't know. It like feels like you're losing or something, but every time, even sitting in that darkness, <laughs> and that's why the word, it didn't, you know, I'm out here walking in the, barefooted in the grass. <laughs> it's kind of wet or whatever. And I sat down here after and I'm thinking the word the whole time I'm up there I just kept saying in the beginning was the word and the word what is it talking about that God gave his only okay I had to hold on begotten son what does that mean to you know what is that first of all what does that mean to me right now right because if we're dealing with so-called prophetic energy and we're dealing with that source then again what does that mean to me right now and then what do I want to ask the answers to guys, angels and source. What do I want to ask the universe, the ether? What do, what do I want to, you know what I'm saying, about this, right? It should be at your disposal or your fingertips, right? 
And then I, I have to also, with that, uh, the extended family of the other heirs, right? And again, how some of them may be able, a little bit more elaborate in other areas, where again, the babies or the newbies sometimes may struggle. And so this is just giving off that vibe for people that are, you know, well-seasoned or not. So it, the whole thing is for us to be able to see. And if you don't see it this way, that's fine. <laughs> right? So we're going to go ahead and do the in the beginning. Okay? Um, we're going we're gonna to do just that chapter one for now. Um, and then I'm going to run off into like, we'll, we'll do it when we get there. Okay? So again, it started making me think more about divine masculine and feminine energy lining up within. But then something physical, you know, is going to have to occur, I feel. But I feel that it could, uh, okay, not even physical. I'll say outwardly because it, maybe it doesn't even have to be actual physical, which I feel is supposed to be. But I feel like there's there's energies here and some people don't want to go with the plan and some people don't want to go with the flow, right? But you can't force anybody to do anything. So in that case, then, you know, it would have to be something that would be just like a spiritual, telepathic kind of energy. But I think there's so much from the time of that beginning. I was reading that. Um, I have a dream speech and it's, he, he, he mentions in the beginning or this is the beginning in like 1963 or something like that. And that kind of really struck me. What is he trying to say, right? How long has it been since then? What cycle is this? There's something about a linking up either physically or just on the same level, you know? Not fighting anyone, not trying to enslave anyone uh, or not trying to force something naturally letting it happen and then also when things naturally happen i don't know <laughs> it's like something very uh genuine and pure about it something more real right so again i know y'all probably don't get where i'm coming from because this again <laughs> we're talking about this bible that we're <laughs> unchaining but we're going to get there. I just want to um, read this here from this. Because um, I'm probably going to use this later on as the uh, the image for the next video. Um, so again, so I was just thinking about even becoming a babe. And, you know, all these things were just running through my mind when I was walking through the yard. Um, and it says, I would like the woman to become as feminine as possible. And the man needs to be as masculine as possible. Only then can the flower, can they flower? I'm sorry, this is, okay, well, I'm gonna When they are uh, polar opposite, I don't know. Mm, I don't know, that made me think about that card that we shared last night. Solar plexus even, I don't know what's coming to mind. A great attraction arises between them. See, okay, see, I didn't read down this far. Something, <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Okay. And when they, okay. <laughs> and when they come close, when they meet um, in intimacy, uh, they bring two different worlds. And then intimacy can be just like in the intimate thing. You know, it only got to be what, you, what people be thinking. Different worlds, two different dimensions, two different richnesses. And the meeting is a tremendous blessing. A benediction. Like, okay, hold on. So it's even like that whole energy of like so love the world that he gave his only begotten son because you know when we think about the world I think about the world card 
you know, when it comes to sim it being symbolic for something. And, oh, this is about to be, okay. Maybe just for me. I mean, it may not be uh, revealing for you guys, but to me. So again, that whole thing right there. When they meet in um, intimacy, they bring two different worlds. So again, as above, so below. Even dimensions, like th uh, third dimension and the fifth or something. Two different riches, richnesses. So even it could be with color. I mean, like with your hue. I don't know what's coming straight to mind. And also with your like finances almost. Like rich and poor or, um, you know, again, but then that's that abundance of it being whatever it is being brought to the table would measure out. Well, while one may have this, the other may have that. But it's like, it's almost like it's something that's being observed from on high as if, but it's, it's genuine and it's right and it's right. And mm, so again, this whole energy of like stagnancy a little bit and, and blinding and so much chaos. It's just like, what in the world? You know, like where did we even come from that was that feeling? But now there's a sense of like a tranquilness and me just saying today, like, I know that there's this energy of this Medusa. And, you know, if it's some reason for it or whatever, I don't care. Sometimes I feel, and when I say Medusa energy, I'm saying there's a lot of different serpents and there's a lot of different things, again, uh, in your ear. Tell me this way that, you know, and then for like an empress, I feel like, no, nah, we got to ground it. You can even hear the whispers, like what we were talking about in Psalms in the, uh, the early, tw well, not the early 20, but <laughs> like 22, 23, 24. And then we didn't finish it yet, but again, hopefully. And, and because you're telling the story and it's coming out true and, and people don't want to see the thing to come together and they might not even know that that's just their energy that they're giving to it, you know, and, and that reflecting of that energy onto you or it turning negative or saying, well, this or that, 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 you know, and it's just, I was just like to a point where I'm just like, oh my goodness, I can't do nothing. I can't be, you know what I'm saying? I can't be alone, whatever, whatever. And so again, I just dealing with all those energies. I'm like, mm, source. Okay. If you ask, <laughs> you said, if I want one thing, right, right now, like this is come and come and I, and I'm just quiet, right? That energy of what do you want? And, and, and I'm like, nothing. And I just said, you know, if it's benefiting the world, okay. Right? But I see that some people are in the background trembling because of some things. And saying things like, oh, if people are not going to do it this way, our way or whatever. And these are people that, like, what kind of power do you hold? What, what's going on? Then then they shouldn't be able to be heard or whatever. And, you know, this might have been talking about something totally different. But it, it resonated with me. <clears throat> about how I think people are trying to cover, cover, cover. But, you know, we're still fighting under the blanket. And yeah, so you got to keep going because the truth has to be, again, no matter how people like it or they don't. It's a new thing. A lot of people ain't even going to be like really realizing and recognizing. But I said, you know what? Just for a minute, if I could see, even if I could see what you're doing, <laughs> if you're on my side, <laughs> I need that. I need, I, I need to know if this is very necessary for this energy, for me to feel like everybody, you know, it's just that something. And I didn't realize I was already feeling it. I was already feeling that release. And it also feels like there's just been a some type of a furthering of, you know, that type of energy. 
And then, you know, it's almost like that. Oh, you know, like for a couple of weeks it was, oh, don't speak because, you know, people can ruin things. But I feel like, yeah, things could be shifted and everything, but not when it comes to <laughs> my God. <laughs> like, this is how I feel. Like, that eventually the Elohim and my ancestors are, are there and helping me. And so I feel like it's going to be what it's going to be, you know, at the end of the day. Nobody can take anything fully away, right? So again, and we also have to look at our part that we pay, play um, in the thing. So again, that was a lot of reflecting on that last night. So again, I might as well just try to look at it from my, my view and then the world view in a sense. Cause like it's just like I can't be. It's like even with that, that uh, the card that we had last night. I wish I could. Okay, just with the her throat was just lit up. Just it, it was like a blockage actually, right? Look at y'all. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Let's see if it's right here. Okay, yeah, these are the ones right here at the top. Let's see. Mm hmm. Just hold on, just bear with me real quick, bear with me. Because, you know, it. I just I just keep hearing like overthrow. But then I also feel like, you know, it's like this, the spirit realm is like, no, nah. no, nah. not this time. We gonna have to show you what we know how to do, right? So again, if you look at her throat, you see this big, stuff here festering up but it's like kind of in darkness and it wants to come out and you see even just look at the triangle there and how it's pointing up onto her lips and she just wants and look at her lips she got some pretty lips <laughs> okay and you see how this is you know shock of the new hmm and see see that must be the new energy right here trying to force it come in, come up through her throat chakra and right yeah and again that whole um he heaven and earth or um again i keep thinking silver city and then the earth it reminds me of the card that we pulled to the uh from here but not mm, i can't remember and we're not gonna go that far but again and, and we're here we're just sharing a story we're telling a story here it's all and so we use everything we use all we're using all this to get to a better understanding okay so again we're gonna go ahead and start with the in the world because something stood out to me about the the when let's see john i think um and then the, when they wanted to stone the woman right okay when they wanted to stone the woman right So let's go ahead and um, start just with John chapter one. And we're going to do two versions or so of it and see what we're really talking about. Okay. So in this book from this Bible from like the 1800s, it's saying in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Right. And we're just going to use what's here. Right. All right. So let's we read it in that one now. Let's see. Now, I don't even want to read too many different versions. We're just going to read, read it out of the Living Bible, too. Now, this is, and I, I put a heart here whenever I, because I write in my books, okay? Um, they just trigger, I don't know, it says illumination. I don't know why I wrote that. Oh, see? The other card that we pulled. Where are you? I promise we're going to get better. I'll get better with this, trying to incorporate this in this manner. This one. With that, she's got the light is glowing. It's coming from her mouth even. It's coming from her mouth like that breath rising up into her 
crown. I mean, this could be looked at as a crown, These the, the flowers and stuff here. <clears throat> and she's giving that light to the world or giving that light or that energy, right? It's kind of spewing out and you see them bees again around her. Royalty. And all that information, look at that, look at her. Um, all this is from the seeds that she's been planting. But, you know, the seeds been, you know what? Oh, wait, look at that. It's like almost like the seeds have been coming back and um, actually <laughs> nourishing her and planting something in her, right? Nourishing that soil because nobody wants them. The ones that drop here and there. Some on the cement, right? Some took root and some did not, right? And again, that is also about a, an illumination or just like a realization or even being in like that uh, frequency of, with the soul tribe, right? So again, being a living vassal of that word where it's coming from the root, mm-hmm. I don't know why Root of David just came up, but again. <sighs> I don't even know. We just like, it's just this living, breathing. I don't even know where we're going with this, but let's just keep on moving, okay? So again, before anything else existed, there's like no... But again, that's what... I'm just opening myself up, I guess. I don't know. Anything okay before anything else existed. This is in this is John 1 and 1 in the Living Bible. Okay. Before now, we also could go to this Bible for Genesis, just because we're here and we're just we're just here and we're just randomly doing something right now. I'm just trying to I'm just going with with source. Okay. Because also I've been feeling like that uh, Bridgerton um, energy of that like courting, spiritual like courting. But also um, that energy of protecting uh, that, uh, I think it's either, I think it's Isis, the protecting energy of other women, you know, that it may not be going that same way because we're talking about different levels to it. But again, when it when someone thinks that an empress is going to fall short or again, be able to be used for something that an empress should never be put in that, you know, like say if you have um, a lot of male energy around you when it comes to competitive family members or, um, you know, other descendants or sons um, that again, may be a little bit more advanced or may have been brought up differently. And so again, to then take those other, um, especially when it comes to women falling short for whatever reasons, um, in, in lack of knowledge even in certain departments, uh, ended up in being like some of the priceless jewels that could be turned into something that they should not be being defiled in that manner. But it's the defilement is so they can't re return to that position, right? Or to their godliness or to their position. So again, that that that's the energy I feel like I sense. And just like every day I had to go and just say, you know, protect me from any type of, you know, defilement or energy like that because, you know, it's just was it's my number one pet peeve. Once I realized what I realized, with them realized, I said, oh no, I don't like it all together. But when it come to me, I know who I am. So when all this other energy going around, uh-uh, mm -hmm. No, I don't, I just, that just, I really didn't, mm -mm. but again, we're not talking about that. <laughs> That's the past, right? But again, somebody going to get in their feelings about it, maybe, possibly, emotionally. And that's their own, you know, whatever. So it says when God, so again, in Genesis 1, 1 in this living Bible, it happens to say when God began creating. So if we're saying when God began creating, and there's an asterisk here. So let's see, why is my nose, I think it's this nose ring. You, 
It keeps twisting around when I'm breathing. So, okay. Let's see where, what it's talking about with this asterisk. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay, so down here it says when God began creating or in the beginning God created. The earth was or the earth became. Now, oh, oh, stop. Let's go back. <laughs> Let's go back. It's like fine tuning. Ah. And the more advanced we go, right, then the more we're able to see that we, you know, was left behind or down. Right? So it says, when God began creating the heavens and the earth, the earth was a shapeless, chaotic mass with the spirit of God brooding over the dark vapors. So again, this must have to, it, this, this, this reminds me of the image that we share all the time with Hathor and the serpent in the temple on top of her head. When there were like seven, I think, serpents at first, and then at one point in time, all of the other ones left. And again, uh, there was just the one serpent there. And I'm not, you know, I'm just saying symbolic. If we could just get, I don't like hold on to these titles and things because I know it all somewhat follows a line and it all kind of resembles the same thing. So in mythology, there's probably a correlating storyline in the, you know, like that, okay? So again, that's just the openness about just, you know, everybody's just so, oh, it's, you know, and it's just like, come on. And I think that that's why these, our voices and these living vassals right now sharing this in real time is the way for some of us, right? And I think that's why we're getting so much, so much uh, resistance and people fighting against and, and blocking. They knew this was coming. And the, far, the, the further they go to try to block it, the more it's going to come out. And I think also for us women that's using our gifts, like our genuine gifts, they may not even be the way that people normally do it in those crafts. But it's coming from a pure hearted place, a place where you're really trying to get some understanding to really clear things up, not make it appear that you feel like you, cause you know, it's people that got emotion and get you all riled up that have you thinking that that's the way, oh, that person really care. No, it's the person that's going down, taking the shit up, bringing it to you, trying to figure out how together you can turn it around and do, and, and that's what I'm saying. So today I was just sitting here like, what, is it this, is this the end game? Because it seems like that's not people's priorities. And if it is, maybe they're doing it behind closed doors. And if they're doing it behind, behind closed doors and saying things about other people shouldn't be able to speak, then what are you hiding? Or who are you hiding it from? And for me, knowing that I'm a part of the kingdom, where, where's my invite? So again, source and the ancestors are stepping in and helping out. Because there's deceitful things going on all throughout this Bible. And again, that's why, again, we have been giving that uh, way of seeing where in the word the word was with God. So who would they find in the world? God. Who would they try to again seal up? Cover up. And then exploit, exploit in one end. And so again, God would speak. He don't write. He don't write. He speaks or she or hmm. other people can write. That's what the scribes are for. And do they write the right thing all the time? Hmm. You have to ask yourself that. And it's not being a way, it's expression. This is the way. And since we're gonna be talking about light, oh, there, let there be light. Hmm. I am the way and the light, right? Is what he said. Or what was said. 
So we're going to keep going. Okay. The earth was shapeless, meaning nobody could really mold it. Control her. Chaotic mass. With the spirit of God brooding. Over the dark vapors. He just imagined like a galaxy mind. Like a head with like the galaxy and everything going around it. I mean, I'm just saying that for a visual, okay? Then God said, let there be light. And the light appeared. And God was pleased with it and divided it, divided the light from the darkness. So again, almost like that image. All right, so we're just looking at it like that, <laughs> okay? I like the way that that is written when God began creating because this is a God that came and created and creation doesn't necessarily mean from scratch. So before anything else existed, there was Christ here in John 1 and 1. So again, that's why, again, I feel like in the beginning we were calling it a Christ consciousness, but then everybody want to attack that because they want you to use the terms they think it should be and everything. But then again, there's only one true source that's going to be on this plane in those times. And it's going to seem like it's all over the place because again, that's that whole chaos. But now we're kind of bringing it in and using tools to navigate and to help each other. It's never been... Uh, situation where it's like you do this and believe it this way for me at least I don't know I mean people can chop up what I say and whatever and do and try to make it that way but again so before anything else existed there was Christ and so again and I feel like that's talking about that level of understanding with God or that unity even oh look stop hold on Okay, we talking about, all right, the mas uh, the masculine, divine masculine feminine, possibly. Yeah, because that's that union. This is what we said already. This is what we said. That's that union. When it comes to that holy cow, Hathor, right? And, um, oh, y'all, this is a freestyle. And we're doing it totally different, kind of like I think this time. So, Okay, so again, and even that whole thing about meeting your adult, like being a man about it, like even with, with, with me, it feels like there is something like that I have to tap into that masculine, you know, and it's kind of hard for me because I'm, I have a soft space, face and a smile on it all the time. And so again, but when it comes down to business and when I'm really grinding, when I'm really thinking and I'm in my element, then it's all like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's different. I'm not like this, right? Um, so again, that, that can kind of be like even that whole dual split personality kind of um, where people will probably try to write it off as, um, you know, a mental illness, I feel, for many of us. And again, I'm, I'm talking about my story, but in general, what I'm seeing also and what I'm sensing and feeling. When it comes to the whole. Yeah. Okay. So with God. So there was Christ with God. Yeah. Because walking with God is that unity in here. That coming up to that level. Like that's what I'm saying. There, when I say there ain't no savior but your, um, other than you. I mean for us to realize, recognize, and rise to the occasion. And once you get there, you're meeting with your higher self and then connecting with source, which is that that is 
could be symbolized as that serpent or that disc. Meaning you've been touched. Right? Yeah. So he has always been alive and is himself God. He created everything. There is nothing exists that he didn't make. And again, she or he. So again, all right. All right. So now we did that part. All right. Let's see. Cause I went ahead and said, hold on. What are we talking about when we're talking about he? Okay. Or him. Right? So before we even get go through this chapter one, let's just go ahead and look at what we're talking about. We're talking about him. Because we have Elohim. Elohim. And it's the funniest thing in the world. Is I and this is what I'm going through all my books. Let me show you something. And this is a shame. No, I don't need y'all on my business that much. See, part of it is me talking too near much, okay? So, <laughs> I'm going to stop. But I guess this is a new thing. I guess there's nothing to hide anymore, is it? But see, <laughs> don't change nothing about what I came here to do. <laughs> Won't change me. This car was in here. I don't know why. And I have been thinking about a trip that I took and I stayed in a hotel that had like, it was all about like deers and antlers and stuff like that. And made the one with the strongest antlers or something win or something like that. But the deer looks kind of feminine actually. Right? And it looked like it got something to say coming up the pipeline. But um, Ella has. So again, the, I use these cards um, just when I'm really trying to go there with the text. Right? And just notice how like all of the, uh, what we would call today Native American, uh, you know, kind of uh, images all around. And then that moon there. That moon in the forehead, you know, that makes me think about something when it comes to spying or eye, you know, that eye, somebody spying again, or even when we're talking about that blindness of those goddesses, right? And the witchcraft or sorcery that could again have been used against them, again, as a, a way of trying to bring someone down or again, so that moon is very, very, very symbolic for something. It would be very wise to if I mean, especially if it's um, attached to something that has something to do with the, the, the chosen one or the one. Like it says in uh, Lion King, that I am the one. And again, this is oh, it's this jaded energy, right? The blinding energy. And so that's why everything in the universe is here for, for us or me to use in order to interpret this. And so, again, we're getting to see some of the things that were done, why we don't understand all of these things. And it's just a living way, I feel. So, again, if Source is still bringing me to these points, and yes, there might be some stagnant things and some setbacks, but then nobody in this world is going to be able to judge me and tell me that what I'm doing is not what it is. And me not doing what I'm doing is just stopping me from getting to where I need to be and where a whole bunch of people already know I am, but they just can't see. Right? So, divine might and uh, divine might foretold. So that would be me going against even my own self and and those that are assisting me. That that's not showing my appreciation for them by not coming on here giving my messages because I feel some kind of way or I don't want people to think that I'm trying to be this, but I am that. So, in, I mean, in my eyes. So again, you could be that in yours. <laughs> But I am that one when it comes to my father. So, um, 
And I also know that there's people out there that want that, okay? They want that. And if you think it, that energy vampires and cap, cap and cat and stuff like that, if you think that that's a joke, and if anybody want to sit there, they haven't gone through that, and they want to sit there and talk about somebody that's saying that that's happening to them, then they obviously don't understand that this stuff is deeper. And a lot of people just can't see it in those different layers and dimensions. And so, again, it doesn't matter what they think. It matters what you think and what you know. There is a knowing. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> These glasses keep slipping down. But anyways, so again, it says him. Originally uh, dative, masculine, and uh, neuter from he. Proto-Germanic, high. Say he, beginning 10th century. It replaced hein as masculine. So I see the dative root of the M ending are, are retained in German, okay, and Dutch. So now... You know, if we use these terms, then we see in where these things originated, then we would see that those were the Dutch, especially, were the first actually contact or one of the first, supposedly, from what they the story from the story, right? We, we usually kind of leave them out, we just go right to the French and especially the Brits, but we don't talk about that, and then the Germans. When I'm separating the fact that we're talking about these other Indians with the with darker complexions, with the even with the feathered uh, the plume feather and the skirts and stuff, is not trying to say that people weren't here that didn't look just like we do now. I'm saying that the earth joined with the earth, and those individuals came in, and it caused that form of chaos, right? And let's even think about that ether or that darkness being that matter being of a material of a woman, even in birth or in labor. So even giving birth to those children in pains, um, was that really supposed to be? Should she had had to take that brunt, really? Or was it Adam that really messed up when you really read it? And but again, together, right? And being learning how to even become that something so there was <laughs> i feel saw you know uh dirt being thrown intentionally and un you know because of misunderstanding barely as the southern england okay for him okay so let's look at um uh he okay Old English, he, pronoun, third person. Um, high, Saxton. High Dutch, Middle Dutch. Mm, um, variant of co is there, here, as opposed to that, there. Root, uh, third person. English, um, old English. Okay, wait a minute. Root, and thus the source of the third person pronouns in Old English. The feminine, high, o. was replaced in early Middle English. Okay, so again, why did it shift from old to, to uh, middle, right? Hmm. Other stem, um, okay, early Middle English by forms from other stems, see, she. See, she. While the H wore off Old English neuter, hit to make modern it. Damn, we just called it it, and I thought that was offensive. Hmm. The Proto-Germanic root also is the source of the first element in German, hiuti, oh, which sounds like, or hiuti, which shiuti. UT Indians is reminding me of again. Grandma. Today, literally the day. Okay. It says the uh, paradigm in Old English was masculine singer, singular, <laughs> singular, he, nominative, hind, accusative, his, genitive, him, dative. 
feminine singular, he o. He o. He high higher. Mm hmm Neuter singular hit. Okay, so again, so we're seeing this is a feminine aspect here, huh? The fifth letter of the Hebrew, Hebrew alphabet. And also is making me think about the fifth element. That's that element in disguise that we did not maybe see. Well, some of us, see, I see it. He, a very light colorless element that is one of the six inherent uh, gases, the most difficult gas to liquefy. Hmm. Hmm. So your substance or your essence. Ah, oh, look, the dark crystal, which is another one of my favorites. Y'all 80s babies know what I'm talking about. Remember they were extracting that? Occurs in economical extractable oh, amounts in certain natural gases as those found in Texas and Kansas. Huh. All right. Related terms is coal, he man, uh, her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead. All right, <laughs> let's go ahead. So again, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. So what do we mean there? The word was with God. The word, the talk, the utterance. Sentence, statement, news, report, word, announcement, expression. So it's funny that as soon as some of us on these platforms, and I'll just speak for myself, get to that point, that's when that Medusa energy came in. And again, it's there to make you stagnant. And also, so I feel like under review, you can even be thrown off balance where you're not even your normal self. You're not doing things your normal way, right? It's like an imprisonment, a mental prison. Because again, if you could think of, she had all these snakes around here, she's trying to get away. Like like Bilquis, Bilquis in American Gods, she had to tap in, she had to go into a place where none of that even, it's like, you know? Like when that, that ringing, that heavy kind of ringing is happening, you know, you're trying to escape it and you just, and it keeps. Hmm. To speak and say. The meaning promise was in Old English and So again, it's just thinking of that help. I thought that's what was supposed to happen was help, not all this. I thought I was about to be getting some divine intervention, some type of assistance or be of assistance too. So serving is such a, you know, beautiful word when it comes to something that is being done for the world, that type of service. But I feel like when it comes to a union, it's honoring in a sense. And I do believe that despite everything that there is supposed to be that type of um, union. And I feel as though it just would be very sad for it to be uh, idolized instead of realized in for whatever reasons because again miscommunication so yeah 
All right, so speak, say. Verbal altercation. A word to the wise is enough. Hmm. Spoken word, communication. It's dangerous to leave written. Okay, and this was a part I think I skimmed over. It is dangerous. Uh, this is a part of an etymology um, when we're dealing with the word word. <laughs> It says, it is uh, dangerous to leave written that which is badly written. So even it's making me think about checks or even things like that that might have been written or like somebody wrote something in, in my name. It, and, and again, it's so, in this work because people say, oh, prove it, prove it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But again, it's, it's going to come to light. It's, I just feel like that. I feel like dirt on my name. Some of it might just be me being too open and too genuine with people. And, and people look at that as like a disgrace for a certain uh, position possibly. But like I said, it's a new thing. Because how many times have we done it that way and things get twisted? So again, it, here it was reminding me of the part here in John where they use their fingers to sign, to, to write something. And it was against the woman and then we're going to get there in a second, but that just really, and that, something is making me say it now. It said, oh, who could cast stone? Okay, go ahead away from here, woman, you know, and don't worry about it and don't sin again. But at the end of the day, it sounds like it was like blackmail and blackmail. Oh, recently, I mean, it's just, and then again, it just got thrown in the mix or compromise. And it's like, for me. There's no compromising. At this point, I know who I am. I know what's going on. You know what's going on. And so what, there, what, what I feel is going on is that is my way or the byway. I will not. I did not come here with these gifts and to go through ridicule and all these things not to, you know, mm -mm. again, people can take it how they want, but I will know. And that's what's most important for me. I can't control all those other things that's going on in the world. God couldn't control all them things that was going on in the world. And you wonder why. Sometimes we have to realize we're, we're dealing with a bunch of fakes sometimes. Thieves. Thebes. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's why I think some of us are just all of that. And I'm not saying all that when it's like, girl, I think I'm all that. But we are really housing whole universes and galaxies within. And it might be something that might be not what people see at the surface. Or they might hmm, bypass and don't realize what it is when it comes to some of our soul siblings and i say soul siblings because that it doesn't there's no discrimination it is dangerous to leave written that which is badly written a chance word upon paper may destroy the world damn y'all look and even when this is making me think about some type of paperwork. This is some kind of paperwork somebody has gone and chosen to do in somebody's name or my name. And I feel like also I feel this energy of a corrective energy today. Like somebody does at least want to correct it. Somebody feels some kind of way about it. And I was feeling some kind of way about it last night. It was a meeting of something where it's like, may destroy the world. Watch carefully and erase. While the powers 
is still yours. I say to myself, for all that is put down once it escapes, may rot its way into a thousand minds and the corn becomes black and smut and all libraries of, necess of ne necessity be burned to the ground as a consequence. Wow. And so burned at the stake as a consequence for us being that. And again, where some uh, seers were saying that their channels and platforms have been challenged or things like that. So again, th this is maybe why Source is putting this on me today to speak this. And it's also making me think about that spirit song. And how Simba, how Simba had to get his, uh, learn how to roar or speak or use, even roaring in the essence makes me feel like all of that is just, I, you know, is it MGM? I can't remember which, uh, one it is where the lion in the movie, in the beginning of the movie is roaring and you have that little chocolate baby face. Um, underneath <laughs> hmm. all right so again brief statements and again I know that's just my only problem the more you say you know and people don't you know want to hear all that <laughs> but it's just me and I can't really right maybe we'll get better as we go but I mean like because that feels like that was a lot, but I'm I'm um I mean it feels like we didn't even look at anything or read anything, but for me it was a lot. And that's just what I'm doing. I'm just sharing my journey of again some sometimes researching with you guys. All right. So again, we we see what the word and God and stuff like that means. So again, there's an element here that we were missing. Maybe that fifth element of she. And so again, up until now, we should have been able to see that there's something about this. I was just thinking there's something about Mary. Okay, y'all, I talk too much. The same was in the beginning with God. So again, we're talking about the Ruach. We're talking about that Christ. And if Christ was there with God, it was a woman. It was Isis then. It was a woman in that Isis energy in the, in the order of Mayat. Because we don't even have to say that these were actual individuals. It might be just that energy, that frequency that was, you know, that we're all a part of it. The circle of life, even in a sense. So it's just that. We're, it's, it's, res, it's resonating and radiating. So again, if we put the E in that, that he, she. So again, we're talking about androgynous even, in a sense, is talking about that particular energy. I believe. Because at first he made Adam both male and female. So again, he made them to be able to, again, have to probably take that journey to self so you can be that whole self that you're supposed to be and then come together. Maybe some of us were playing around or looking at the wrong things. And so again, we had those distractions in there. And so I think that's that... Satan would be that distractive energy, not even an individual necessarily, but that energy that comes in and takes your mind frame off of not even God, but you, because you are God, because God is in you and you are in him. <sighs> and what they say in his chest, sometimes I even think of a box sometimes or a vessel, an earthen vessel or earthen mound the same was in the beginning with God all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life. 
I mean, this is making me think about birth, you know? And the life was the light of men. So the light of the world. And when we think about our children as sacred beings, things change. When we think of them as Some of the things that some of us may have called or been called, you know, it starts there. Nobody's perfect and I ain't trying to say that I, you know, I'm just saying I, putting it out there doesn't mean that I am all the way there. It means that that is where real change comes from because somebody that may be more strong minded or somebody might be ready to, or somebody might take that change and change something about themselves today may be something. It's not me dictating or telling anybody what to do. It's sharing that this is a way. Hey, over here is a way. I'm not even telling you I'm taking it. I'm just saying it's here because it will change something. And it, But people don't want change. They don't want the truth. They want things to be sugar-coated. They want to feel like something. And that's why this whole facade, this feeling of this facade is, is going on. Maybe it's not for other people, but for me, I feel like it's just like, what are we really doing? Because I don't, you know, I don't see the movement. But again, I might be in a different zone. Right? Because again, if you think about Christ, he was sent down to do a, a job or whatever. So... You know, that's almost like what it feels like. And the reward is like at the end of the rainbow, you know, when I'm done on like a journey or something, even to a sense, right? All right. In him was life. Okay. And the life was a light of men and the light shineth in darkness. Okay. This is also reminding me of that Lion King movie. And the darkness comprehended it not. So again, it's that um, it's almost like that light and dark, that yin and yang, and even that blindness, you know? The man that was suffering from the blindness and then was healed. Like, I'm thinking that's, uh, that was a mental blockage. It wasn't like he couldn't see. Even, even Adam, in the beginning, it wasn't that they couldn't see because they saw the apple. They saw it was nice. They saw it was this, and then they ate it, and then their eyes were open. But, well, how did they see it? If you see, and I just keep on saying it because that's one that should blow your mind. That's the, damn, how I've been reading this the whole time. Because that, that one will never change for me. It is what it is. That's something I just know. We weren't talking about what most religious people think it was talking about. It was talking about that type of something else. And the only thing you need to know is it wasn't talking about where hundreds and thousands and millions and billions of people thought it was talking about for so long. That's it. That's all we got to even say. It's not even a point of proving a point. It's saying what we thought was not the case. And most billions of people thought that that's what it was talking about. And it's not about being right or wrong or anything. It's about straightening it up. Who cares? It's time to start seeing things for what they are. And saying it how it is. And it's going to be hard. But a lot of us have already been doing it. And it helps those be able to do that when you have people standing behind you that see that there's something wrong about what's going on in many aspects and levels here. And I think that it is probably being cleared up. I mean, I just have this sense of, okay, just, just chill though, because it's already happening. It's already coming. We already doing it, okay? So, but again, to bring it to a way so that we can trust ourselves and see you know what I'm saying? There's a way to actually be able to see this in this way. And it's just a beautiful thing. And I just want to share it with people. That's all I'm doing. It's not even got to be the way for everybody. I'm just showing you mine. This, this is this is me. Don't don't it never expect me to be nobody I can't. And don't it never expect me to just, mm -mm, I can't. Because I don't, yeah, I can't. Yeah. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came from uh came for a witness 
to bear witness of the light. Even the, what we just read last night had something to do with light when it came to the white buffalo, which is my favorite, not the, the white buffalo, but the brown one, you know, is my favorite animal in the whole entire world. <laughs> that all men through him might believe. Now this him could be a her. This he could be a she. This Lord can be a Lordess. This king could, could be a queen. <laughs> This emperor could be an empress, right? Although it says here, he was not the light, but was sent to bear witness of the light. So again, John possibly, I think it's talking about, you know, right? But to bear witness to the light. And again, just being open here, right? This could also mean too that he, meaning, hold on, let's see. Okay, the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe, okay? So again, this might be that messenger energy that all men through this um, energy of him or them, right, would be able to believe, right? So I don't know if we're talking about him or I don't know if we're talking about John or I don't know if we're talking about the light. Let's see. He was not the light, but was sent to bear witness of the light. So it's just like the light bearer. Oh, the born is. Okay, hold on. Okay. Is somebody trying to steal somebody's light? Yeah. He was not the light, but was sent to bear witness of the light that was, okay, but the fact that it's a uh, witness of the light, that was the true light. What, the bearing witness? Ah. But was sent to bear witness of that light, that was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world oh i'm seeing a lotus flower here or that egyptian is it the egyptian lotus flower i don't know i used to have some herbal uh stuff with that in there i can't remember exactly what it was called okay so like that, it's making me think of like a brotherhood or something, or like a woman and her brothers or something. I don't know. He was in the world. The world was made by him and the world knew him not. So the world knew him not. And again, that makes me think about the cloud in the world card with the man there that she's looking up at. So again, the light and the world are seeming like two separate things. He came on to his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Wow. Wow. So even again with that image that we just had, that's that speaking. And the thing is, knowing I know what I know, I was afraid to start introducing my oracle cards because I don't use them. When I'm deep in thought and I need that something else, this is where I go. And I don't do readings necessarily. I don't know what I'm you know, going to do or whatever, but I'm just saying... I, I got these for me. To connect. Wow. So we just, we just tear, telling the story here. And it's about connect. It's about unity. And soul siblings. 
and knowledge being power and it grows. So these seeds here and also the flowers, because we just talking about, it, it seemed like we're talking about some kind of a plumed flower or even the plumed serpent. I don't know. Again, there's nothing for me to hide. It's just open. So however you guys take it, you may see something in what I'm saying that I don't see. And that's why I'm doing these particular things. To connect. But it's almost like that. You know, like, I'm sure some of, again, those that are um, elect or whatever, or even exalted or whatever, inspired or whatever. I'm sure some of you know that feeling of being the black sheep. And again, the chosen one is just also you being the one that is leading, you know, uh, the rest of the family. Mm. Right? And again, some of them aren't going to like that either. And they're going to think some kind of way about you. That's not true. Everything you're doing is for them, their children, your children, and for, you know, everybody else. But again, they, I, I think that some people look at it as a selfish thing because they, they don't, they can't really comprehend the, the process and, and the things that are going on. And, oh, it's like bees to honey. So again, I, even just in that Medusa energy, it's, it's, it feels like it's not that anymore. There's a supportive energy now coming in. All these beautiful flowers coming in to assist. Even the bees going in, getting the honey and bringing, you know what I'm saying, and, or pollinating or whatever. And she thought she has never been about, oh, I need to hide who I am, right? But it doesn't also mean nobody wants to be exposed out of a spite. Their deepest, deepest things, their personal, privatest things, right? So no, nobody will want that done to them. So again, but I think that, again, karma possibly has already been served. And, and so to think that that's something from, that had me thinking that that's something from God that was pure or something, that was very confusing to me. And it may have challenged my so-called beliefs in that energy for a minute or that connection. Yeah. The beehive. <laughs> The colony and how these days I keep showing y'all this. Okay, so in these days it is about that headspace, even YouTube and Facebook, <clears throat> and the books are open. So again, to make that being that guiding light, this also looks like a guiding light to me. She got something to say. It's coming through the. It's coming through that that matter. She has something to say, and it almost like it's being suppressed or oppressed. Look at the stuff around it, the darkness around it, and that light is just is, is just fuming in there. This girl is on fire. <laughs> this girl, and she ain't even. It, it just looked like it's just. She ain't. It's not even much to do. You see, it's not even much like here, here's the back of the cards. I love this. I even love the colors. It's, it, it's all about manifesting your own. Your own. In the eyes closed, she's protecting herself. Yeah. So again, even that's making me think about the divine masculine and feminine in the collective. Like as a whole, being that one body, right? So again, a new body. So so even uh, meaning of like a new family, a new connection. What made me think about the A-team or Avengers or something like that. Apologies, my stomach. Mm. Power to become the sons of God. But again, 
you know, this also, I wonder, I'm thinking like, is this genuine or is this like a switcheroonie? Because there's all this confusion. But I thought he was coming to baptize. He, there's a lot of confusion. So again, I'm, I'm going to come back to this. But there seems to be a lot of confusion here. So I'm, that's why I'm being very careful when we're looking at this and interpreting this. It's kind of like scrying and doing the tarot. Um, but no, this is not the Torah, right? But. Yeah. Okay, so again, power to become the sons of God. Even them that believe on his name. Okay, wait. Hold up. Okay, I see. I, maybe I see. Okay. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Whose name? John's name? What? One more time. John 1 and 11. Or is it her? Hold on. He was in the... Look, we're going to have to go over here. We're going to have to go over here to this living Bible. Hold on a second. It might give it to us how it is. One. Okay, let's just quick read it through here. And then I'm going to let y'all go. Again, if you can sit through a sermon. Hmm. So it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The so that voice, the breath. Man should not live on the word, uh, on bread alone, but everything that comes out of the breath. of God. This is why they don't want to hear you. This is why they want you to wear that mask. Spiritually. Symbolically. All things were made by him, them. We already went into it, right? And without him or them was not anything made that was made. So again, it almost is sounding like without that unity. So again, it's almost like community, right, is key. So they want to keep him away from her or you away from me or it's just you know it's like that kind of energy um a separation a divide using whatever to cause confusion and chaos right even i was just thinking about because i think it's going to talk about nicodemus in this one in the golden uh uh and in, in the serpent on the staff or the the rod or whatever and we did a detailed video on that and having to do with one of the lower states, like Arkansas or something like that. When we went into that and broke it down. But it's all, it's actually talking about the don't tread on me um, flag in my eyes. All right. So again... Um, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness uh, comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men might through uh, that all men through him might believe. So again, this is almost like yeah, like an introduction to Christ or something, right? Where, again, there's an introduction to Christ that, again, would be that beautiful way of trying to hope that you're 
doing something to inspire or combat against that that was leaked, right? Compared to something that was leaked by individuals in an envious way to try to bring down or kill Christ or that energy or kill the purity, right? To try to defile the image of, to crucify. And then they sit here and these same people will sit in your face because mm, they'll, and they'll try to tell you like as if they are trying to say that you think you're holy or some kind of way because you don't want them in your business or in your space or you choose to do, share what you choose to share with the world. So again, that energy would be that darkness versus the light. Somebody actually trying to bring light to a situation and someone trying to dampen it or darken, darken that energy of that, that individual or of a holy one. And so if they hear this one crying, look, what is this? 23, one and 23. He said, I am the voice of the, of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord as said, uh, the prophet Isaiah, a Isaiah. So again, almost like that blood crying from the soil, like, no. And, it, and that was that feeling of like the underworld or something the other day, like my, no, my father. No, no. My ancestors wouldn't let me. I know I, I'm, I'm not having this feeling of somebody trying to. It, I, it went back to the story of Inanna going to the underworld. And I'm like, mm -mm -mm. I, that, you know what I'm saying? Not, that's not what I work. That's not what I'm here. No. I mean, it just was that. Or selling your uh, birthright even. You know? The selling of your birthright. Or putting that chain that I've been trying to remove, right, from the brain back on it, you know? And so, again, there's, so there's this sense of Gnosticism or knowing, which is why those people had to go because they didn't want to compromise. They didn't want to compromise. They were just okay with being who they were and being pure as they possibly could. And, again, they knew. It was something about those, gener those bloodlines they knew. There's no paper you could give me. I'm telling you what I know and what you know. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. Um, he was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. So that energy of John, right, could be a feminine energy today on outward appearance, right? And vice versa, it could not. Hell, I'd be looking at these to make sure I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to always say it's somebody else doing. I, I'm, I'm, again, the message may be speaking to me, but it also may be speaking to others to take heed that want to. And that's just it. Okay, he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. He became unto his own and his own received him not. But as many, uh, as many, because again, it seemed like they wanted to get rid of the world. I see for many reasons, but... Protect your children. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. He came onto his own and they did not receive him. But as many as received him to give um, him power to become the son of God, even them that believe in, on his name. So this makes me think of the energy that was going around getting people to sign up with him and let's do it this way because we're about to get rid of this real one and we got one that we can make into that, right? We, we can just take from this and give it to that, right? That cop copycat energy. 
Mm -hmm. And then we can block that one out and we can wipe them out from being what? So again, is that the actual source of things? Or is this, again, we're repeating a God of this world type of energy where that is going to be going on and this is the beginning of the corruption in the world. So in case you didn't know and you want to know what happened in the past and what's going to happen again by doing it that way, then that's what it would be. Because you have the same people and energy that, that, that they're not giving you their all, really. They'll be taking more from you than giving even if it's just spiritually, spiritually. Let's see. Since we just freestyling. Okay. He was in the world and the world was made by him. Oh, we already did this part. Okay. But many, many has received him. He gave the power to become God's uh, sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Okay, so again, they were supposed to be believing on one, one name. It seemed like it's what it's trying to say to me. Take it how you want to. And he said, wait, but if we do it this way, then, you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Which were born not of the, what the heck? Come on, y'all. Tell me what we're saying. Which were not born, which were born not of blood, nor of will of, wait. Okay, let me slow down. Hey, hold on. Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh. The will of the... F so which will we're talking about could very well be a will that was in your name or something. Deed, will, heraldry, lineage, inheritance, trust. These things keep coming to mind. So again, yeah. So again, getting rid of family members... You better be careful. It don't look the same. It don't look the same. It don't look the same. Nor of the will of man. So again, they went even against man. Making me think of malicious. But of God. Which one? Mm. What kind of energy is going on here, right? Okay. I, and I feel like, I really do feel like, I'm going to just say this because I have to. I feel like a vessel of light. And I feel like, I hope, like I told you, I've never want nobody to do, you know, just when it comes to any kind of energy, like, I don't want to hurt nobody that tried to help me and I don't want to harm nobody that, you know. And I don't know if anybody is. I'm saying like, just spiritually, because again, it's it's a it's a lonely path, and being blinded, or having something taken from you and given to, to someone else, it's it's hard. So I think that that's what broke things. So again, could they be fixed? I don't know. I don't know why I'm even looking at it this way. And I had to think and appear that, I mean, I just had to, because this just has something to do with me and you. Hold on a second. I mean, really. 